Installation of the Honeywell steam humidifier has been designed with the technician in mind. Its small footprint and options for remote mounting make it fast and easy to install in 45 minutes or less. First, decide whether to install directly to the supply duct or to install in a remote location and running the steam tube to the duct location. In either case, the following prerequisites must be available before starting the installation. You should have access to a drain outlet allowing a continuous downslope from the humidifier to the drain location. Water draining from the device may be hot to the touch, so running the hose directly into the drain to prevent spillage onto the floor is advisable. You'll need a cold water supply line. Hooking the Honeywell steam humidifier to a hot water line is not necessary, since the device boils its own water. And you'll need an electrical circuit rated to the Honeywell steam humidifier unit you've purchased. The humidifier is available in two sizes, and each draws different amp levels. Now you're ready to start the installation. First, choose a location for the RO assembly that's capable of holding up to 7 pounds. Mark and fasten the screws and hanger washers. Then, hang the RO system assembly on the hanger washers. Connect the three filter cartridges, starting with cartridge 3. To connect, turn the cartridges to the right and ensure the thread is properly engaged and sealed tightly. Cut 1 quarter inch diameter tubing lines to fit your installation. Ensure all cuts are evenly made with no nicks, scratches, or rough spots on the tube end. For longer tubing lengths, nylon or copper may be used but are not provided. The end of the tubing must be round and free of burrs and scratches to seal properly. Next, install a 3 8 to 1 quarter inch adapter elbow into the blue outlet port. Locate the drain line assembly, which is the quarter inch red tube assembly. Install a 1 foot long end into the red port of the RO system and route the longer quarter inch red tube to the drain. Make sure the drain line assembly is installed correctly. Verify that the insert plug is installed and secured into the yellow port of the RO system. Connect the quarter inch diameter tubing from the RO filter to the backflow preventer with the shutoff control valve. Then, connect to the Honeywell steam humidifier by pushing the tubing completely into the applicable fittings and pushing past any initial resistance. Next, Apply a light pulling force to ensure a tight fit. For a short operation period after the installation, check the water tube connections to the water supply, filter, backflow preventer, and steam humidifier for leaks. If space allows, mount the humidifier unit directly on the supply duct. Apply the self-adhesive mounting template to the duct. Use the leveling line to ensure the unit is mounted level. Next. Cut a 1 and 3 quarter inch diameter duct hole as shown. The steam nozzle will be inserted into this hole when the humidifier is installed. Position the mounting bracket over the four drill holes marked on the sticker and secure the bracket to the duct using the number 8 screws provided. A steam injection duct nozzle is included with the humidifier. Remove the cover. Connect the nozzle to the patented condensate collection dome. Insert the nozzle and twist clockwise, making sure the nozzle's gasket seal is properly seated. Next, slide the included foam gasket over the injection nozzle as shown. You're now ready to hang the humidifier on the bracket location. Push down on the device to secure to the mounting bracket arms. Ensure that the foam gasket forms a tight seal in the duct hole to prevent air leakage. Now, let's take a look at mounting the humidifier in a remote location. The remote mounting accessory kit is available in a 10 or 20 foot hose configuration. In this kit, you'll receive a remote injection duct nozzle, a remote injection humidifier nozzle, remote steam tubing, and the necessary hardware to install and secure the remote mount. For remote mounting of the Honeywell steam humidifier unit, pick a spot that can support 12 to 15 pounds, the weight of the unit when it's filled with water. In general, the unit should be installed at a height lower than where the injector nozzle enters the duct. Read the installation instructions for specific guidelines. 
Secure the mounting bracket to a wall or studs using wall anchors and screws as necessary to support the weight. Secure the remote humidifier nozzle to the humidifier by inserting it into the patented condensate collection dome and twisting clockwise. Ensure the nozzle is tightly sealed. The remote humidifier nozzle comes out of the humidifier vertically. Because of this, it's not necessary to cut the nozzle hole from the sticker template. Just install the humidifier onto the bracket arms and the mounting is complete. At the supply duct, cut a 1 and 3 quarter inch diameter hole and slide the remote nozzle up and into the duct, securing it to the duct using the provided self-piercing sheet metal screws. Run the remote hose from the humidifier up to the duct nozzle location. If mounting remotely requires running the steam tube through structural barriers, such as a wall or ceiling, cut at least a 1 and 3 quarter inch hole and slide the hose through. Run the hose uphill, continuously ensuring a pitch of at least 2 inches per foot. Secure the hose every horizontal foot using the clamps provided. If remote installation requires a downward pitch at any time, refer to the installation instructions. Plumbing and wiring the humidifier is the same in both duct mount and remote mount applications. Shut off the cold water supply and then attach a quarter inch plastic water supply line to the solenoid's inlet water port. A saddle valve is provided to tap into the water supply. A T fitting may also be used. Next, Connect and secure the 3 quarter inch drain tube to the drain valve with a hose clamp and run the drain tube continuously downhill directly to a drain outlet or to a condensate pump. The humidifier wiring is also fast and simple thanks to an easy access cover and push terminals. Push wiring terminals allow the unit to be wired without the use of a screwdriver. Pushing the release button in allows the wire to be removed. The humidifier has built-in intelligence to automatically flush sediment based on operational runtime or total hours of inactivity. This will keep your humidifier running at peak efficiency for the duration of the humidification season. On an annual basis, a more thorough cleaning of the Honeywell steam humidifier tank is recommended and simple. Removing the tank is done in four easy steps with no tools. First, simply press the empty button on the interface panel. The clean tank light will blink as the tank drains and will turn solid when the tank is completely empty. Once the clean tank light is lit, turn the solenoid manual shutoff valve at the bottom of the tank to the unlock position. Next, grip the solenoid valve arm and slide it back within the bracket to disengage the solenoid shaft from the base. Finally, grip the tank bottom with one hand while pressing down on the cover safety button. Then pull the latch forward to release the tank. The tank pulls free from the humidifier, leaving all wiring and mechanical components at the install location. The tank can be cleaned by hand using soapy water or it can simply be placed in a dishwasher. Internal components such as the heating element are made of a non-stick ink alloy that flakes off easily, making cleaning quick and easy. Thank you for learning about installing the Honeywell Steam Humidifier. It's been designed from the ground up to ensure fast and easy installation. And its flexible design allows high quality steam humidification to be installed in different locations with an ease never before possible. If you have any further installation questions, please contact your Honeywell representative.